New Japan Pro Wrestling Burning Spirit Night 2 on Cork and Hall took place Monday morning. I'm hitting y'all today with it. Your boy was busy. Your boy was tired. There was a lot of stuff that took place in poor wrestling that I had to recover from. Had to watch the show late, so you know what it is, man. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the show. Like I said before, we are in Cork and Hall right now. Just on September 5th. New Japan Pro Wrestling, New Japan World is where you can find the show. That's where it was streamed. So, this is only Japanese commentary when you go look at it on New Japan World. Don't be alarmed. Don't be dismayed. I feel it helps the experience for the show. It is what it is. First match we had here, we had the King of Pro Wrestling. Leader of Suzuki Gun, Minoru Suzuki, taking on and defeating bad dude Tito. Around 8 minutes and 42 seconds, he got the victory with a gotch-style power driver, of course. This was a really fun match. This was good seeing bad dude Tito in a setting against a guy like Minoru Suzuki. Getting low-key a spotlight because this is not a main event match, but this is a highlight match for bad dude Tito over here in Japan. He went against a Japanese legend. Not just a Japanese legend, a legend in progressing wherever the country is. So Minoru Suzuki gets the victory right here. Moving on up the card, we got Yoshihashi, Yo, Roki Goto, and Toriano defeating the House of Torture's evil show, Dick Togo. Yujiro Takahashi right here. Yano wrote up Dick Togo around uh, nine minutes and was, I, I think, Yoshihashi, uh, I, I think he round, round, uh, wrote him up. I think it was, excuse me, it was Yoshihashi, Toriyano rolling up D Togo around, I think, around nine minutes and 16 seconds right here. Pretty much this is a spot for the heels to get their heat back after the match, and that's literally what took place. So, yeah, like I said, that never open weight six-man tag team title match will be coming up soon. Let's keep our eyes on that, and we'll move on to the third match of this card. We got Bullet Clubs, Hikaleo, Chase Owens, and Bad Luck Fale taking on and defeating Jeff Cobb, Great Khan, and Gideon Gray around 9 minutes and 57 seconds. Hikaleo defeated, got the victory for his team. He got Gideon Gray with a choke slam. And like I said on the other review, this is pretty much Gideon Gray. He's going to take his lumps. He's going to take his bumps right here. And this is more the same. And you are also establishing Hikaleo over here back in Japan once again, which it's been many years since the Japanese crowd has seen him. So you need to establish him as a strong, dominant, this monster guy because he's a huge, he's a huge man. So moving on up the card, down the card, United Empires, TJP. Aaron Hanari and Francisco Akira taking on defeating Master Wado, Raizuke Taguchi, and the DKC. We got the blue thunder bomb from Hanare. Then he hit a spear on the DKC to get the victory for his team around 10 minutes and 58 seconds. This was decent action. I like this match. I did like this match thoroughly right here. Of course, you know your boy here is a fan of United Empire. I like DKC a lot too, and I like Master Wado, and I like Taguchi. So this is a mixture of some stuff that I like. I enjoyed it. It didn't go too long. It stayed as welcome just perfectly, and that's what you get from me right here. So, moving on to match number five right here. We got Koshida and Jado taking on defeating Taiji Ishimori and Ghetto around 10 minutes <clears throat> and was it 11 seconds right here. We get the hammerlock suplex from Koshida to pin Ghetto. It was good. This match was good when Ishimori and Kushida was in the ring, of course. We know Jado and Ghetto, they're a long tenure tag team, of course. Imploded, exploded, whatever you want to call it, not too long ago, earlier this year, I believe. So, yeah, the the best part of this match with Kushida and Taiji Shimori, but I think if you're smart pro wrestling fans, I didn't need to tell you that. You already knew that. So moving on to match number six right here. Match number six. We had the team of El Phantasmo and Kenta defeating Shingo Takagi and Bushi of Los and Gobernables de Japon right here. So we get the victory when ELP hits the Modified Styles Clash, a.k.a. the CR2 on Bushi. He hit that around 10, 12 minutes and two seconds. We know ELP defeated Shingo on the last day of the G1 Climax, and he actually has a new haircut as ELP. It's kind of styled like Shingo's, or Shingo's a style like his, depending on how you look at it. But no, I like this, and I'm interested to see the returning singles match between Shingo and ELP. Both these guys are, I'm fans of, so that is what it is. I'm also a fan of Bushi. Y'all know this as well. I'm a fan of Kenta, too. So I'm a fan of all four of the guys in this match, and I just I'm like seeing all four of these guys wrestle. In our penultimate match of the show, we had Sonata, Tetsuya Naito, and Hiromu Takahashi taking on and defeating Zack Sabre Jr., Taichi, and El Desperado. They got the victory around 11 minutes and 40 seconds when Sonata was able to roll up Taichi right here. So they're setting off for singles matches between all three of these guys, I feel, because Desperado was right at the edge of having a title shot. But he's going to have to get through Hiromu and vice versa here. So the same goes for Zack Sabre Jr. 
going against Naito and Tanada going against Taichi. So that's this more Suzuki gun LIJ rivalry, if you're familiar with that. I think they had a strong rivalry about four years ago, man. Maybe three years ago, four years. It was something like that. Three years ago, four years ago. But this is a rivalry renewed. And in the main event right here, we got Kazuchika Okada and Hiroshi Tanahashi taking on and defeating TMDK's Jonah and Shane Haste right here. We get Tanahashi hitting the uh, I think Tanahashi is the one who got the victory right here. He hit the high fly flow on Shane Hayes for the pinfall. And this was a really entertaining tag match right here. I feel this show was a step up from the show we got prior. Um, adding Shingo, El Fantasmo, Minoru Suzuki, I feel brought some star, much needed star power on this show. So, and that's the crowd getting vocal. Of course, I forgot to mention that crowd was actually able to cheer her the first time in almost two and a half years. So that's something we cannot be regressed to mention right here. Uh, main event was kind of similar, identical players from the days before. That is what it is. Uh, I'm enjoying them telling the story of Zack Sabre Jr. having a chip on his shoulder. So that's something really good and something for us to keep our eye on. I believe they won't have any more action, I want to say, till this weekend, Friday or Saturday. So just keep a lookout on that. I'm going to look at the final of the N1 Victory Tournament. I'm trying to because I don't have a subscription, but I, I got my ways. But uh, I'm going to try to look at the finals for that, see if I can get a show for y'all for that. So you know who we are, man. Almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Please like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Price of subscriptions, we all know, free 99 I am the Pro Wrestle Fly God. I am Stardust Shiaku. Blunt C and Idol, I am signing off. You guys have a good day, night, evening, morning, lunch, whatever the hell you listening to this time. Whatever. It's all good. But appreciate y'all checking us out. Peace.